I'm Bert, and I'm the Car Flipper. A little bumper love. See, this bumper can be brought back to life. It looks like somebody has tried to save it once. I've been involved in the sales of over 75,000 cars. So here is a 2007 F-150 that I purchased. The owner thought there was something wrong with the AC of the vehicle, but there wasn't. Made, I think, $5,000. Nobody knows cars better than me. You gotta see some stains in this. This right here would be a, like a $250 detail. My wife and I, we flip cars for a living. I don't have enough parking. I mean, okay. that is just uh, giving it away that it's not a dealer. Because you do not want to sound like a dealer, period. Actually, I am the boss. We met at Toyota, my, my first job. She likes the fact I opened, see, I'm I opened like our car old door school. for her. I used to make big money running car dealerships, but now I created a way to sell cars on my own, and I'm making seven figures a year doing it my way. I sell two to three cars per week, making three to 5,000 per car. Two, we're out taking pictures, and what do we find? A van for sale. I find used cars, often on the streets. Daily drivers that I know I can fix, make over and sell in one freaking week. I'm not real keen up on this type of a van or anything, but I'll do a little research on it. If I could buy the vehicle for about what the vehicle should trade for, then that's a good buy. I could flip it and then make $3,000. Toyotas, Hondas, pickup trucks, each of these middle-class cars are my superstars. Like cars I would buy, no, yes, definitely yes. Jeeps are hard to get because fucking expensive to hold a value. I would not touch that. Steps are simple. First, I identify the car either through Craigslist or just driving around. Look at that old man Tacoma. I'm fucking knocking on the door of that thing. Nothing's broken or faded. You can see mildews built up here, but that's okay. That'll all come out in the detail. My favorite on this is the interior. Look at that seat. Especially with no plate on there, that is primo. That means they're not using this vehicle anymore. Often I put a note on a car that looks like it hasn't been driven in a while. Then I'll show it with cash and fist to buy the car. I just driving past, I so happy to see the for sale sign. Is that your car? That's a 1963. Yep, sounds pretty good. It's got a flat tire and AC, hoses missing and stuff like that. Would you do $1,000 for the vehicle? Oh, shit, no. <laughs> well, I Paid hear you. Paid for the goddamn paint job. When did you have, okay, I didn't know you had it painted. How, how long did you have it painted? Hell, I don't know. Dude, I'll take five grand for it. All right. I would have to do a little more research on it. I need to have a destination for that car before I buy it. So I carry a little kit with me. I call it my car buying kit, so. I have two screwdrivers in there, a Phillips head and a flathead, so I can take off their license plate. I carry the most important piece of equipment, which is a scanner. Plug it in, it's gonna tell you what codes the car has. There's no airbag codes, but the ECM is your computer on the vehicle. There's two codes for that. That's probably something to do with the check engine. I'll use those to negotiate with the price down. I got $300 cash right now, which is three times better than what the pawn shop would do. I test drive the car. Brakes are a little sticky sometimes. I noticed that. Five minutes, go around the block. I make a friend with the people too. A little something happened here or? Uh, I, I kicked it. You kicked it? Yeah. <laughs> Did it do something to make you mad? Uh, yeah. I'm a new owner of a 1997 Chevy Lumina with only 102,000 miles on it, so I did pay him 300 for the vehicle. I believe I can sell this vehicle for about $1,500. After I buy the car, then I take it to my mechanic and auto body shop. I will fix any problems that they have. I bring every car that I buy off the streets, I bring them to Chuck, just get them checked out and make sure there's nothing mechanical, electrical wrong with it. I mean, for 146,000 miles, I mean, this, this looks great. Afterwards, I'll take it to my detail shop to fix up the look, clean it, and make it look showroom ready. In case like this, this is all repairable. Okay. The molding we replace, you know, it just got cracks in it. You can get this thing popped off, taken off, and repainted the whole bumper for about $100. I'm in charge of taking the pictures of the vehicles and also posting them on Craigslist. Finally, I get to use my strong negotiating skills to sell for the most profit. Ethics, my moral compass, you know, if there's anything that was questionable in the car, I would tell you, you know what, man, I wouldn't want you to fly down from North Carolina and, and get into something wrong. But uh, no, the, the, the vehicle is incredible. It's an amazing machine. I wish I could email you the smell of it. I mean, it smells like a brand new car. Let's do it. We're good at 14. I'm good at 14. So everybody's happy? Right. Just sold the LS. We get a lot of people, when they reach out to us, they ask if we're a dealer because they don't want to buy deal. from a dealership because they just don't like that experience. And if you just give them a personal experience, but give them a quality vehicle like they bought it from a dealership, then they feel good and it's, it's a win-win for everyone.